I did write and produce this film. It's inspired by George Clooney. George just seemed to be the perfect all-round guy. He was like, you know, he was funny, but then he also had this really compassionate side. Then I became aware of all the humanitarian work he did for the Enough Project. The Enough Project is a charity which strives to end genocide and for peace in Africa. George Clooney is one of its celebrity supporters. He seemed to have so much passion for this charity. I actually read a book called Not On Our Watch, which um, was written by Don Cheadle and John Prendergast, and they encourage readers um, to get creative with ways to raise awareness to the charity. And one of the ideas was to host a screening for friends. And it was at that point I thought, why not actually make a movie and bring George Clooney into it? Because the press was always about who's he going to get married to, who's his latest girlfriend, will he settle down? So he just seemed the perfect choice for someone to put on that pedestal. And from there it developed into what I thought might be a short and then became a feature. So um, it was quite a long process, I think, from the time of the idea. It was about six years, and then writing the script took about a year and a half. And from start to finish, I'd say, from when we began writing the script to filming now, has been about three years. We're shooting the whole film in 15 days, which is very quick. Um, so it's kind of hard for me, you know, as a writer and producer. And actually, I'm in more or less every single scene, which I didn't really think about when I wrote it, when it came to filming, how challenging that would be. So, you know, wearing a lot of hats and also being in every scene. Um, also, I had ridiculous amount of wardrobe changes, which I also didn't think about, something like 45. So when you're doing a really short shoot like this and um, I have to be in every scene, but at the same time, you know, I was, I'm still rewriting certain scenes of the script throughout the, uh, throughout the shoot, just because we had to change certain bits here and there. That's been the most challenging thing for me personally. The one thing that wasn't actually in the script was the car ride to Marcy's party with Donny. That was actually written as a traffic jam and Poppy abandoned the car and jumped out and ran. But um, we were having um, problems logistically because we couldn't arrange a traffic jam in LA and shut down roads and that kind of thing. So the story with Donny was literally written the night before we filmed it. And uh, most of it was improvised. Brought Paul Provenza on, who was very funny and you know and great. It actually worked out really well, and I think it worked out better than the traffic scene would have done. You know, a lot of writers don't always get to play that role that they're creating, but I did. So, in writing Poppy, I got to know her so well, and she's quite similar to me in a, in a lot of ways. I actually myself moved from England to America following a breakup. It wasn't after someone got caught bird watching, but uh, there are a few things that happened in the script that ultimately ended up happening to me in real life. Like I went to a psychic in Beverly Hills <laughs> and it turned out she'd read for two or three of George Clooney's ex-girlfriends. <laughs> so another similarity between myself and Poffy in the story. Some of the bumps in the road whilst completing this project were a big engagement <laughs> and marriage that no one ever saw coming, but Originally, the film was called Looking for George Clooney, and it was all based around him being an eligible bachelor. Um, he said that he was never going to get married again. He'd been single for 22 years, and halfway through writing our script, he decided to get engaged. <laughs> George Clooney's just gone and ruined the whole thing. But um, it was actually fine. We wrote his engagement and marriage into the story, and it ended up working really well, and it kind of made Poppy's character stronger. My favourite scene in the film, I mean, there are a few. It was really fun filming with um, Sean Sippers, who plays Luke, because he, he was so funny and he had me in hysterics the whole time, much to the uh, director's annoyance some of the time. Um, so they were really fun scenes, but my personal favourite scene, I think, is the very end, because when, when I wrote it, I wrote it with this vision in mind and uh, I had this particular song that was also written in the script. And that song, which we actually managed to clear, um, it's just exactly how it was envisioned in the script. So I kind of, that's kind of for me when it all came together. 